Right. Uh, I thought I'd start by telling you my electricity joke, but it's uh, pretty shocking. Um, right. Here we've got a an investigation to see what the current voltage characteristics are um, across a filament bulb. Now, what we're going to set up is a it's called a potential divider circuit to allow us to vary voltage across the filament bulb. So we've got that set up on our power supply. So we're going to come from the top here through our ammeter. into the bulb so make sure this is laid out nicely and the bulb back into there switch that on now whenever you're setting up a circuit always save the voltmeter to last it's my top tip um, oh, we need one more wire. Right, one more wire and not quite tabs blue. So, we've got the filament bulb. Um, we're going to put the voltmeter, connect the voltmeter even, cross the filament bulb to measure the potential difference. Cross it, I'll just check that's on the right side. I think it is. Okay, getting readings, good. Now, I'm going to set this, that's a 12 volt bulb, so I'm going to set the power supply to DC and to 12 volts. We don't go over 12, so the bulb is rated to 12. We don't want to go over that. Now, we've got our circuit here. So we've got our variable resistor here, um, which will alter the voltage across the filament bulb and our ammeter to record the current as well. Now, I'm going to start, obviously the first reading uh, is zero volts, zero amps. So I'm going to increase, I'll change the variable resistor, which will increase the voltage across, oh, too much there. Maybe put half a volt to start. Okay, just let that settle. So that's our first reading at around half a volt. That's the current. So we're going to go for our next reading at one volt. You can see the filament bulb isn't lighting yet. our second reading at around one volt is the current push that up to one point four Five volts. There. You can see the filament bulb is just starting to light up there. You can just see it turning red. 
inside. Push this up to two volts. Close enough, let that settle. And the filament bulb is starting to light properly now. Push this up to 2.5. Height, happy 2.6. Push it up to three. Close enough. Bulb is well and truly starting to light now. It's excellent. And we just need to be careful because this has a current rating of two amps at the moment. We're on one, so we're okay, but need to keep an eye on it. Okay, so we'll push this up to 3.5 ish volts. In for four. Lots brighter now. Four point five. Five. So that bulb is most definitely on now, and I'm not going to touch it, but I can feel the heat radiating off that. Five point five. The six now. Oh, overshot it a bit. I think we'll take our last reading. Yeah, we we'll get a couple more in. Aim for seven now, I think. Overshot the last one. Volts, aim for seven point five. I think we'll take our last one at around eight, being very careful to watch the current. Make sure we're not getting anywhere near two. Okay, so our final reading. Now, uh, the second thing we need to do is take the negative readings. So the way I'm going to do that 
is I'm going to swap these terminals over. I'm going to set this to zero. So I haven't touched that. Now, when I fire it back up, you can see zero. I'm going to aim for the same points as before. So what I've done, I've given the filament bulb a little bit of time to cool down. I'm aiming for half a volt in the negative direction, so minus 0.5 volts. Okay, so that's our first reading on the negative side. Going up to one volt. There. One point five. There. Pushing up to two. Now heading towards two point five. Oh, overshot a little bit, but that will, that's okay. And we're both in the negative direction now. Now heading towards three. See the bulb is, or well the lamp is now firing up. And for 3.5, heading towards 4, or minus 4 even. Was minus four point five. Oh, so close. Spot on ish. So it was minus five. Again, I'm keeping an eye on the current there. Towards minus 5.5. Oh, overshot a little bit. That's okay. Aiming for minus 6. There it is. Minus 6.5, slightly over. Aiming for minus 7. Minus 7.5. We'll finish with minus eight. Perfect.